In this video, we're going to have a look at graphs and charts in spreadsheet software. Now, so far in this series of videos on spreadsheet software skills, we've covered data types, we've covered how to format your worksheet, we've covered the different formulas as well as the different functions you need to know. We've even covered the other features that you need to know as well. In this particular video, we're going to now focus on our second last uh, part of the skills, which is adding graphs and charts. Let's have a look now. Let's first of all have a look at making a pie chart. Now, normally you do pie chart if you value the percentages. Um, we'll do it for this particular video using the average percentage, although to be fair, you only really want to do it when each percentage is adding up to 100. In this case, they're not really adding to 100 because they're from different test scores. But hey, we'll have a look anyways. Okay, so um, highlight the name column. Hold the control button on your keyboard to highlight the average percentage. Then we'll go over to the pie chart, select the pie chart, and there we go. Is our pie chart done okay um i think we're going to change the title it's very important you make sure you change the title uh, with average percentage score per student there we go we might want to add some data labels click on the chart that little plus sign is your best friend here there's your data labels great make sure you read the question carefully because sometimes it will say no data labels okay Let's now have a look at um, creating maybe a, uh, a bar chart. Maybe I want a bar chart for just checking test score one. Okay. Now bar charts are designed for data that is not continuous. So separate data. So for example, each student here has a different set of data. Okay. So for example, Rayanne's score has nothing to do with animals or Omar's or Jonas' files and etc. So we'll highlight these two, go to insert, bar, number called column chart, same thing, and there we go. Student scores for score one. Okay, um, again, if you want to add anything else, I think we need to add some axes titles. There we go. Make sure you label them. Oops. Student names score. Let's now have a look at making a line chart. Okay, now line charts they are used for data that is continuous. This could be maybe you're measuring a person's height over the course of a few years. In this case, we're actually comparing the scores of these students across several tests. That is continuous data. So we highlight all that data. Um, insert and then we'll go over to this one here we we'll put a 2d line over here we'll put student scores across a term um, you can see it's been labeled so that the the scores are represented by the lines and we can see each student as well. Not sure that really works out. So we can actually change this a little bit. Go to switch rows of columns. And there we go. Now what we've got is we've got each of their scores. Each of their scores for each test. And the colours are now represented by the students. This is more of a suitable way of using a line chart. Tests. And then this will be scores one more we can also do is a scattergram use a scattergram for the same purpose use a line chart they actually don't look that different at all so again insert there's your scattergram okay again i would switch the rows of columns out so we know which colors was in which students again add axes titles uh, and then over here got test score and here we'll label that Oops. 
where we'll label this as student scores across a term. And that's it. All right, so that's it. Those are all the charts and graphs that you need to know. So we can tick that one off. And that's everything you need to know about adding graphs and charts to spreadsheet software.